thank you all uh, faculty mentors uh, joining joining our session today. Um, um, if you're if you're joining today, you're invited because either you're currently uh, mentoring a team that's participating in this cycle of the Innovation Olympics, or uh, you have a team that participated in the past in the Innovation Olympics, or you have a team that puts your name down as a faculty mentor um, for this upcoming cycle, but uh, for, for one reason or another, they weren't selected. So um, it's great that you'd be here um, to, to learn a little bit more about the program. And many of you are probably wondering what were you signed up for, and maybe the, your student teams didn't brief you properly. So thank you for, 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 for joining us uh, today. Um, as, um, as, the main, as I mentioned, uh, this, is, uh, this is focused on the IXL Innovation Olympics. Uh, we're going to be telling you a little bit more uh, about the program um, so you can have a little bit better context uh, for you. We wanted to also uh, explain uh, what you've gotten yourself into or what your students have gotten yourself into in terms of responsibilities, but also the benefits of, of, of being a part of this program. Uh, the students are, are really excited about. Um, and, uh, and just kind of from a, from a, from a winning kind of uh, and, and coaching perspective, we also wanted to just give you a little few, a few tips of what winning teams do and, uh, and how you guys can help um, them uh, move, move along as well. And before, before we get into it, I just wanted to do a quick introduction about the team. My name is Andre Devali. I'm the, I'm the gentleman on the top right corner here. Um, I'm the executive director uh, of the program. Um, and also, uh, we have Yulia Kaminskaite, who is uh, in charge of, uh, of, of the relationships with the uh, strategic relationships with, with um, universities uh, and with, with students and making sure that uh, everyone is happy and uh, really getting the most out of the program. Um, Yulia, did you want to? Introduce yourself quickly. Yes, hello. So, hello everyone, and welcome to the info session for the faculty mentors. I'm Julia Kamenskait. At the moment, I'm located in Lithuania. And uh, as Andra mentioned, when it comes to IXL Innovation Olympics, I am in charge of making sure that your student teams have a good experience here and that they are learning the Gym Institute methodology and apply that not only throughout the process of the IXL Innovation Olympics, but also beyond, especially when they are reaching their uh, great positions in, in great companies. So I'm sure we will stay in touch a lot once your student teams will enter the competition. Excellent. Thank you so much. I, I just tried to share my webcam, but for some reason, uh, I wasn't able to. For, I, I don't know what happened here. Um, let's try it again. I want to make sure. Um, can Yuli, can you see me? Okay. And I cannot see you. It's a blank. Okay. In that case, my webcam is not working well. That's okay. Um, we can focus on the slides. Um, so we have uh, just a, a very um, brief agenda for you guys this evening. I think. Thank, thank you so much for joining. We know your time is valuable, so. We'll, we'll make sure we go through these things very quickly. And, and really, what I, the objective here is, is to really set it up for discussion and, and for next steps and, and uh, how you guys, um, how, how faculty mentors can, can take a more proactive role here. And obviously, it's a, it can be as much or as little as, as, as you're willing to, 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 to help. Um, so I want to go through quickly who we are, um, and why we're we here. So to, to tell you a little bit about the program a little bit more about your role and best practice for winning teams. And, and I, I really want to set aside at least, you know, five, 10 minutes in the back end for us to talk about the next steps and, and Q&A. Um, so the program is managed by IXL Center and the Global Innovation Management Institute. Um, IXL Center is a global leader in innovation management consulting, uh, legacy of more than 40 years um, in management consulting and Arthur DeBittle, uh, Monica Group, and, and leading those innovation practices. Also, um, creating um, uh, curriculum, business school curriculum um, at the Arthur Middle School Management, which then turned into a whole business school and really taking all that insight of doing 40 years of management consulting into, into really teachable um, kind of uh, materials, which, you know, and, and which have culminated in the creation of the Global Innovation Management Institute, uh, which is really the, the it's, it's a partnership uh, for to create a nonprofit uh, around creating standards and what uh, innovation management should look like, creating that common language um, that allows people to, to be practitioners and have the authority to practice innovation management with a very clear set of tools uh, and, uh, and language. And, it's, it's a, and part of why the reason why Global Innovation Management is a co-sponsor of uh, the Innovation Olympics is to provide the students with that standardized set of tools 
uh, and methodology that they can go and not only apply in this project, but in any future um, project that they, they're involved in. Um, and AgSell Center provides really the, the mentorship uh, and, and the consulting rigor of, uh, of kind of coaching these students to, to excellent outputs from a, a management consulting perspective. Um, the Innovation Olympics is, is a really interesting, uh, really exciting program. It's an open innovation program uh, where we connect five teams around a specific challenge uh, and a growth challenge. Uh, for one global sponsor, and we're talking, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about who the sponsors are typically. But we're talking about, you know, Airbus, FedEx, uh, Sanofi at a global level. Uh, also, we're talking about medium-level companies that are kind of uh, trying to really look at the 10x growth and compete with the with uh, with big players. Um, and we're looking at at challenges around uh, entering new markets, uh, understanding kind of what new service technologies are available, and then where is my next strategic growth really going to come from. So um, really, cha really tackling real issues. And these are not, um, let me emphasize, these aren't mock challenges um, for, these aren't, it's not your typical um, consulting challenge competition where it's, it's a it's made up scenario and, uh, and you have just kind of, a, it's, it's a judgment on, on methodology use. These are real companies looking at these students for breakthrough ideas. So this is a real open innovation challenge that we, that we set up. Um, and it's structured, the, the overall structure is, is based around these clients. Uh, we have, we create these, these teams uh, of students, uh, five teams of from the top schools around the world, depending on the type of challenge. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a global challenge, we'll, 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 take, we'll take teams from, from, um, from, from global schools, from Europe and Asia, Latin America. Uh, if it's much more about the U.S. market, um, then we'll, we'll recruit much more from the top schools in the U.S. And not only not only uh, MBAs, but we talk about graduate programs, PhDs, uh, masters of engineering, uh, but with a, with a strong focus on grad schools. Um, and the, the faculty mentor is really is really a, a pivotal piece uh, in this to, to, to kind of help bring the students a discipline and then and, and give that expertise to the teams as well um, as they kind of go through this journey. Um, and, and we do have our mentor as well. We train and coach the students on innovation management and, and then consulting methodology, but, you know, uh, the faculty mentor does, has a, has a really fundamental role in keeping uh, things together at the student level. So we, here are some of the students, here are some of the many universities that we currently work with. Um, and, uh, and, we, and, and we, but this is not, not comprehensive. If you don't see your logo on there, don't, don't be, don't be concerned. Uh, this is a, it's a list of more than 200 schools that we have worked with in the past or across different regions. Um, we, and something I want to touch upon later is uh, we do have some formal relationships with a few of these um, with, that actually have integrated um, the program into their, into their actual kind of graduate school program, their MBAs or EMBAs, um, and, and use this as, as a capstone program, uh, understanding that this is a live consulting project that kind of culminates that kind of, so they, they teach methodology during the classwork and then culminate um, in, in, uh, in this project. And we're, we're in conversations with uh, at least 10 more universities that want to uh, have, have seen the value of, 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 of these programs for the students um, and are trying to kind of integrate into the program. So work with HALT uh, right now, Yonsei, University of Toronto, um, Haskins School of Business, uh, Thunderbird, um, and uh, I think, uh, I'm not, not sure, I think Thunderbird, I'm not sure if that's, if that we're doing that right now, but I think definitely, um, I think University of Trento and a few, a few schools in Latin America as well are part of uh, a more formal um, program that we, that we work on. Um, so we've, we've worked, these are, the, these are the companies that we, that we, some of the companies we've worked with, so more than 200 for the last 10 years. Um, currently, uh, this cycle, the spring cycle has kicked off about a month ago. Uh, we started working with Winnebago, United Airlines, um, uh, I Export, which is uh, the Guatemalan export agency, uh, SmartSafe, which is a Brazilian company, uh, trying to make, uh, trying to take their, 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 their IoT for, for safe technology into the U.S. market. We have uh, Promigas, which is the largest energy company in Colombia, also looking at, at kind of uh, at technology and, and, and with business model challenges. So these are real challenges, uh, and we, we have a constant flux companies coming through um, and the program runs over the course of eight weeks 
it's a very structured program. It's very, it, and we can talk about methodology and how it works, but I just wanted to emphasize uh, that this is a very, it's a very uh, intense and iterative process where uh, the student teams are presenting. Uh, they have four full, four formal presentations to the clients along the way where they get a chance to get uh, feedback and judged and kind of then moving on. And uh, this is a process that is uh, very tested and pressure tested um, across many different areas and many different clients. And um, it really delivers on really excellent results when it comes down, it comes down to it. And this is part of uh, the Global Innovation Management Institute uh, methodology. And the students are coached and they have webinars every week on each piece of this puzzle to understand what, the, what good looks like at each stage of, of this, uh, this process. And um, the obviously kind of students love it because you know, it's, uh, they're, they're working with senior executives, they're, they're, they're learning um, world-class methodology and getting certified. They're getting level one, level two certification from Global Innovation Management Institute, which they, which it's great to kind of really uh, pad their, their CVs. Um, and uh, they, we include them in our resume book that we share. We've always re reached out to uh, by, by, by companies looking to build innovation teams. So uh, we love to refer students and it's, uh, students get recruited into teams all the time. Um, we have several alumni uh, working at Verizon um, after a project there. Um, last cycle, we had General Dynamics uh, hired one of the, one of the, one of the, one of the student uh, members from Babson. Uh, so for the for the students, it's really a nice recruiting recruiting mechanism, and and even from a, from an interview perspective, this is the number one topic they talk about um, during their interviews, um, based on our, our our research and feedback and, and, and ongoing connection with them, and and of course you know I think everybody loves to say uh, to get get bragging rights and you know um, whenever Harvard participates and they they participate you know and almost every cycle. Uh, there's an added, added incentive to, to, to beat, um, to beat the Harvard team as well because it's, uh, um, people like to make sure, people like to position themselves uh, as, 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 as competing with the best out there. And, uh, of course there's prize money as well. There's 4,000 for the first place and $2,000 for the second place, um, winners of the challenge. And, um, uh, something about, uh, this is, this is an important slide because, uh, obviously we have, uh, we have a lot more student teams uh, applying than we actually have spots. We have uh, anywhere from from uh, from eight to, to 15 challenges every quarter, um, and uh, we get hundreds of uh, of applications from student teams from all over the world. And so we we do need to uh, have some criteria to uh, to sort these through. Uh, of course, we, we 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 the university they go to making sure that the functional diversity of the team, the work experience of the team. Um, depending on the project, we want to make sure we prioritize certain geographic locations and regions. And, and something that I, is, is really important here is um, the universities where we have a good relationship with a faculty mentor uh, or with the university itself um, automatically get priority simply because we know that the students have already been prepped and the students understand um, the rigor and the demands of the program and we can ensure that there's a good level of commitment. Um, and, and quality of output from the students as well. So um, the role of the faculty mentor is, is really critical um, in ensuring that teams from, from a university are selected on a, on a consistent basis. And I just wanted to share a few, a few, uh, a few testimonials. You know, students uh, love it, um, love the program. Uh, they, they keep coming back. Uh, we have student teams that participate uh, two, three, four times in different cycles, just because of the, the, the richness of the experience of, of the mentorship and the coaching they receive um, and the feedback from the client for them is, is, really, is really exciting. And it, and it really does give them a leg up over other candidates when going out for recruiting at the end of the year. As I mentioned earlier, we do this four cycles a year. Our upcoming cycle is in June. Um, and so we have, uh, we have uh, uh, kicking off in about yeah, two, two, two and a half weeks. So, I think for the, for, the, for the faculty managers on this call, I would love to encourage you guys to, to, to bring forth a team or two for that upcoming, upcoming challenge. Uh, we have some, uh, some really exciting uh, clients uh, signing up already, um, including you know, TJX, uh, the owner of Marshalls and, and TJ Maxx. Uh, some really exciting challenges and, uh, coming up. And I uh, want to encourage um, faculty mentors to, as, as, an, as one of the next steps to, to, uh, to recruit student teams to participate because it's, uh, it's going to be a good one. Um, 
want to talk quickly about your role and, and, and it's, it's really it's really it can be as as high level or as granular as as, as you have time for or you, as, as you as you get engaged as well um, one one piece of it is, is is discipline and motivation I think um, so we work we work with grad student teams because they've had some work experience they understand kind of the commitment they make when they when they join a project and understand how can make a make a commitment to to finishing it uh, commitment to the client and to their team members to make sure to make, work things out between them and and of course having that face to face influence from the faculty mentor helps them keep that in perspective and not to drop out uh, in, at the first sign of any adversity. Um, we understand also that you know there's certain skill sets that that maybe you that you'd like to drive forward and teach your students depending on 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 the subject matter that you that you that you teach so. It's a good opportunity to, to oversee the development of those maybe skill sets, and and of course I think just your seniority and experience, you know, overall guidance and, and mentorship for the students is always helpful. Uh, in terms of academic advice, uh, it's uh, it's really I think, needless to say, you have a lot more dots, a lot more cases, and a lot more experience than the students, and so um, adding additional kind of thoughts and and being their thought partner. Uh, and some of these, uh, and some of these uh, thoughts and and and, uh, and, uh, and proposals they make is always incredibly uh, helpful. In, in innovation, we talk about you know at, at the front end when we're diverging, getting as many dots uh, and points of view as possible in there, and and yours uh, can have a tremendous impact on 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 the, on the team's kind of point of view. And finally, it's uh, you know, opening doors to databases and secondary research, so secondary research, and kind of and and, and sharing your your network with them. To, to help them advance on their needs. I uh, have some really great case studies from Toronto, um, um, which has, gets a lot of support from, from its faculty, and, and, and the results kind of very, very clear. They, they consistently rank uh, in the top two or three of the, of the, of the, of the challenges that they, that they engage in. So it really affects the, the team's outputs. Um, just from, a, again, we can, we can, we can get, dive into more detail um, you know, for those who are more interested, but just a, a few best practices for for students. You know, obviously is is around uh, kind of the mechanics of making sure they're running effective meetings, that they are kind of following methodology, they understand and they get the most out of tools and and, and methods that they're brought to them, and uh, and that they're leveraging kind of also um, uh, their their uh, their their student their, their school maximum possible, and the schools that we work with that. That allow for course credit for this program. You know, obviously the students are are have permission to spend a lot more time uh, on the program. So uh, again, it's time constraints is always an issue. So the universities that actually allow them to to spend more time uh, is is really really helpful. Um, and so and and the last point here, of course, is uh, is um, uh, universities that are champions of the program um, and get more teams on board. Make it a capstone project. You know, there's there's lots of really great synergies and really great outcomes um, that we've seen from our partnership so far. Um, so I would encourage you to have uh, to meet with your student teams uh, if you haven't yet. Um, they, they they could get really um, I think it'd be helpful for you in terms of how you mentor them uh, to understand how the challenge is evolving. Um, if you're able to participate in the client presentations as well, you know, listen in so we can also kind of give additional feedback. And, and help them with dry runs. Uh, we have a great relationship with uh, AIM, uh, where we have several faculty mentors that really help them um, on that dry run, and they do re they do live rehearsals with uh, with the faculty, um, and uh, and it really shows um, when when they do present to the client. So next steps, um, I, there's there's a few levels of involvement. Like I said, you know, it's going to be as as, uh, as as tactical or as strategic um, as you'd like, and we're happy to engage. Um, at any level of discussion with, 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 with all of you on an on, on individual level. But the first one is obviously the faculty mentor is just, you know, you, you, you kindly agree to provide support to your, to your student teams um, and, and, and be that, 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 that kind of that guiding figure. The second level is faculty ambassador. So this is where you actually can bring new student teams to the program and you're encouraging them and, and, and get more involvement. The, the third level of involvement is, you know, where you say, you know, I really like, I really like the methodology, and I'd love to kind of be more involved with the Global Innovation Management Institute um, and understanding um, how I can help further or kind of contribute to that development of the methodology. 
Uh, level four is really how, the moment that we start saying, kind of, how can we uh, integrate this program in, in, in a much more uh, uh, seamless way with uh, with uh, the the how can we integrate this better with our overall program? And and finally, level five, and this is this is reserved to uh, faculty mentors we've worked with uh, for several years and, uh, and 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 become trusted partners. Is we invite them to become uh, well, we don't. I, think, I, I also play a role in Global Innovation Management Institute um, as a, at, at the nonprofit level. Uh, we invite um, these faculty members to at the to become board members of, of Global Innovation Management Institute, and, and that is where um, that, that is a level of discussion of how 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 we can help shape um, innovation management as a, as a discipline um, and the methods and the and and, and the, the partnerships and how we extend certification of uh, of uh, professionals across different uh, different geographies. Uh, Global Innovation Management Institute has has, um, has a credible reach you now in the Middle East and South America, uh, in the U.S. and Europe, uh, also increasing in Asia. Um, so it's a uh, it's a really it's a really exciting um, area right now that uh, is growing immensely um, in terms of it, following the, in the footsteps of ISO and obviously kind of the Project Management Institute as well. So um, that's it for the uh, structured and, and, and presented um, pr presentation area. I just, I just want to open up for Q&A. I know it's been a mouthful. I went through this very quickly, but I just wanted to um, give you guys a, a taste of, uh, of what this is and, and open up for questions and for, and for just detailed, uh, detailed conversations one-on-one -on -one with you. Uh, thanks, Andre, for delivering this info session. So first question um, is just, uh, about how many faculty mentors there can be per university. Short answer is we don't limit that. I think um, I think it's uh, I use get the case for AIM. They have at least three or four faculty mentors, and um, and these are just resources that go to resources that students can use to go if they have any questions. They don't. They're not, and, and that actually provides. Uh, more flexibility for, for and uh, for, for the faculty mentors and for the students to to get to get support whenever whenever they're by whoever's available. Thank you. So, can we drive internal IXL Innovation Olympics only for our university teams? Um, we can discuss that, and we've done that in the past for for Yonsei and for and for University of Trento. Um, that that does work. I think it's uh, we can definitely talk about that and, and, and have a conversation. Um, I think uh, the from from a, a client perspective, there's a lot of benefit from the, from the challenge of getting that diversity of the students, uh, of getting different different uh, universities participating. But um, Samsung and and, uh, and and these companies have run uh, individual challenges within the university, so the framework does work uh, within a single university for sure. Right. So, a very similar question to the previous one. How can we make IXL Innovation Olympics a capstone project at our university? So, let's engage in a, in a, in a separate conversation. I think it's uh, it has to do with um, so universities that have done this, they they include the curriculum uh, up front. So, they they have a, they have a they either do an accelerated program uh, like a, a accelerated two week program up front before the before one of the editions start, or they actually run it as a as a, as a class as a program, and we do have all the uh, we do have we have we do have um, all the curriculum and the materials available. And this is taught yeah, I think right now in terms of curriculum, it's taught at, at Toronto, at Calgary, and Yonsei as part of uh, of uh, of their EMBAs, MBA programs. All so right. So the short, the, the short answer is is, is is we can help and discuss kind of what are the options available for you. For sure. So, um, can a faculty mentor realistically support more than one team? Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, understand that um, the, the heavy lifting on support and coach and training is done by the IXL uh, mentor coach, who is who is managing the the the, the, the project. Um, and so, uh, the role of the like, like I said, the faculty mentor. Can be as involved or as high level um, as he'd like. I think we'd like to involve. Obviously, the deeper faculty mentors get into the subject matter and 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 getting their hands dirty with the teams, 
you know, the, the funner it is and, and, and the better the output. Um, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a high level strategic guidance um, of best practices. Um, so it can be, this could be, uh, you know, uh, as little as, you know, half an hour uh, each week. Right. Uh, now about the upcoming Excel Innovation Summer Cycle, are there any specific requirements that student teams should meet in order to be selected? So uh, we're getting, the, we're, we're starting to get the client specifications right now, but I think the number one guidance I can give you um, when forming teams of students is making sure that within the team that they are diverse. Um, so making sure they're not all from one nationality uh, or all from the same, um, same uh, exact um, kind of, uh, let's say, expertise. And that, and, and that is a combination, of course, of what they are studying currently, what they're majoring in, so what, what, are they, what is their, their specification, but also kind of their own um, personal backgrounds um, um, and uh, experience as well. So obviously, if it's a, if it's a massive engineering program and all the students have, are, are all massive engineering, that's fine. But let's make sure we have a diversity of, of, of prior experiences, um, and, because that is really what contrib contributes to to um, really positive outputs. And then I believe that could be a closing question. Um, so, Jim Institute grants for all student participants Jim Institute certification. Does the same apply for the faculty mentors? Absolutely. Absolutely. So if the faculty mentor wants to participate in the webinars and, and, and be part of the quizzes, um, they, they can also, they can also, they're also eligible for, for, for a Jimmy level one. All right. So I think that's enough of the questions today. We are already over 30 minutes for this, uh, for this uh, info session. So Andre, I think we can close it. Excellent. Thank you everyone for, for joining. Really looking forward to, to working with you. Um, again, this is this program is is driven by the students. Um, the outputs and the outcomes of the students are really what 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 uh, what, in, what makes uh, uh, companies like like Procter Gamble and and Merck really keep coming back to this program to seek out the students' inputs. And from the student perspective, you know, I think um, it's uh, it's it's critical that they have an amazing experience as well, and they get uh, the most out of the program. So. Uh, working with, with faculty mentors um, to provide that amazing experience that bridges the students to the clients um, and creates an ex amazing experience at both ends in, in collaboration with us is what, really, is what we really want to um, aim for. So um, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, you have uh, you've been in touch with, with Yuda directly. If you'd like to have a second conversation, I'm happy to uh, engage with you one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you. Thanks everyone for attending. Uh, there is, and then maybe you can click on the next slide. Uh, there is a contact information. Please do not hesitate to reach out to, to us anytime, and we will be glad to work with you in the nearest future. Thank you, and bye bye, so everyone. Thank you, everyone.